Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for the 8th through the 9th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you guys today. I saw the Five of Cups there. Feeling sad, I feel. Something that you guys want to know that, you know, just has not been revealed to you. Something is not working out, I feel. Okay. Feeling like, you know, indecisive in two minds today. Typ typical um, Gemini energy, I feel. But I think that a lot of you, there's something that you know that you really just don't want to see is what I'm getting from you guys, okay? Something you're not talking about. Something that you feel in your heart that you already know, but just not coming to grips with your feelings, um, not really trying to make a decision about something here. Dealing with love, for sure. I feel like you guys have, you have feelings for someone that you have not spoken of. You and this person are probably not talking, but this is definitely somebody that is very important to you. Very important to you. Maybe you guys have not spoken in a while. And maybe, just maybe, you know, you didn't reveal just how you felt about this person or they didn't reveal how they felt about you. I think that, you know, you're at a point where you're wanting to revisit this situation. Maybe before you felt like you couldn't go on, you couldn't continue with it, it was too much. Um, maybe this person, you know, really like wore their heart on their sleeve, revealed how they felt about you. Maybe it was overwhelming for you at some point here, okay? And um, you kind of pull back a little bit, but I think you're thinking about all of that right now. That's what I'm getting from you guys. You're thinking about everything that happened in the past between the two of you. Maybe that you didn't show them enough love or didn't tell them, um, you know, how you felt about them even to the extent that you felt it. Okay, we have the chariot there. Um, I think at some point you guys wanted to move on without this person feeling like, you know, this was not where you really wanted to be or where you belonged even is what I'm getting from some of you. I think now you are, um, you wanting to like revisit this situation, I feel. Now you're kind of thinking about, you know, was it the right decision to move on without this person to leave this person behind and rethinking that. And I feel strongly that a lot of you want to um, be with this person again. I feel like you guys want to travel to this person. I don't think you've spoken this, though. I think this is just something that you've been thinking about. Going back and forth in your head about here, okay? Hmm. Um, a lot of you want to apologize for something whatever that is okay and i think this is more about taking responsibility for you know your actions holding yourself accountable for the things that you feel like you could have done better or things that you feel like you know you didn't do right or something that you feel like um hurt this person okay that you love i feel like a lot of you want to go towards this person um reconnect after you haven't spoken for a while yeah, you you want to be successful with them. You want, I think you guys want to move past whatever conflict you have had in this situation with this individual and um, kind of squash your differences is what I'm getting from you. Okay, feeling like, you know, I think, you know, the person that you're thinking about, nine times out of 10 has fire in their chart heavily. And um, I feel like this person was a challenge for you is a challenge for you you feel but nevertheless you guys love this person you have very deep strong feelings for this person um i feel like they're they're an attractive individual and um you probably feel like they're dating right now it's like they're out there starting over okay starting new things um some of them have actually started a business i saw the ace of wands there um that that's the path that they're on right now. 
they've been enlightened, awakened, um, and they're happy. You see that they're happy right now. What's influencing you is now want to work with this person, deciding that that is a path that you want to take, but you're still in two minds about it. I think you definitely know what you want to do. And I think you really want to, you know, work with this person, get back together, find some harmony in this situation, you know, balance out, you know, whatever it is that you guys need to address in order to move forward, to move on. Because I do really get the sense that a lot of you guys really want to move forward with this person. You want to be with this person. Okay. And that's the path that you want to take. I think that you really don't know where they're at right now in their life. You don't know whether they're dating. You haven't spoken to them. You don't know whether they have actually moved away from you, moved on from you, um, whatever that is, have gotten over you. You don't really know that. So, but I think a lot of you definitely want to reach out. Let's see what the possible outcome is here for you guys. Definite change. I saw the Wheel of Fortune there. Okay. And um, the card just hopped out. So let's see what that is. Temperance. Temperance. That's above. So below. The magician's not here, but I feel like you guys definitely want to bring um, some harmony back into the situation and get back together. Okay? Reunite. Do what's right. You want to do what's right. And I feel like in doing what's right, you know, that entails you guys. Um, kind of getting some harmony and balance within yourself, balancing out, you know, your emotions with your actions and your thoughts and just everything. Okay. <clears throat> because, um, you're deciding something here. This is, this is you wrapping something up. This is you wrapping something up, using your logic with your emotions and your actions um, to do what you feel is necessary and right in this situation because you really want happiness in your life. And I feel like it involves this individual here, okay? We have Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, um, Taurus. could be Leo um, as well. But um, water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And um, and could be an air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, individual. All right, guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.